We are back with the second day of the group stage here at I Am Katowice 2022. The first matchup of the day was between G2 Esports and Fnatic, with the odds being in favour of CSGO's freshest super team. They started the battle on no other than Nuke. The first half side with a bang, with Alexi B having an incredible entry round, and some high power plays by Crimson Jax. Jax holding first, Modesty there alongside him. This is clean. G2 with a lightning fast pistol. We come off to the flame literally here, Jax. 20 seconds left. Fnatic have to get into the site, and Jax needs to just delay. They finally spot him. Now they swing, and Jax goes back up for a second. It's all down to Crims. We know him for a good clutch. Bomb goes down, 40 seconds on the clock. Hunter up the vent fast. He's spotted now. Crims does initial damage, but no kill. Has to drop back. Hunter, oh, he's been spotted through this middle of the two cylinders and now running down Crims' position. Oh! He'll best him with the MP9. Fnatic close to biting back with pistols. And that was all with the deagles of Alex and Mezzi to kick that off. The round, you consider a 5v3 situation. You're thinking, sure, sure, it is an eco, but they've made that as close as you'd like. And gets more proactive, oh, he's more been aggressive. He has been liked. Indeed, he's down to 10. How have they even done that? Smooth is going to be questioning, how is this even happening and now they've lost their rifle of Brolin. Luckily Smuya able to gleam one kill back but can he find a second? The timing to get away oh. but Smuya gets spammed down. Jax looking back to main and this time it's Crims about to try and duel him but Jax is having a field day right now. Yeah great work from Jax in the last two rounds here just pivoting in this top site mopping up that mess that was definitely bearing on down. Mezzi in a one on three he has two players to deal with one oh, right in wow. front of his face it doesn't even <laughs> worry about the other and this is a fantastic start from Jax. The following rounds, Alexi B pops off again. Brawl and breaks G2's seven round win streak. There's still rifles here. That's the problem for Fnatic. You still have to deal with Alexi B, who's down here and now has a rotation of his teammates. Jax gets picked out by Brawl and oh, a shot for Crimson lands through the smoke. But luckily, Alexi B is in a very good spot to deal with it. Now Brolin into the 1v3 clutch total. 20 seconds to do it as well here and just so many angles to clear out. Brolin will go down and a 5 0 start for G2. Oh, a little bit of a cab not actually allowing Nico to see anything, so Hunter will fall victim to that play. But Monesty getting aggressive into the hut. This is different and couldn't quite follow up for the second. But at least keeps his team within touching distance here. Max needs to wait here. There's a lot of utility holding his teammates at base. So they need to communicate oh. before the retake, but that could be it. Alex onto Nico this time round, and this is looking like the first round for Fnatic. Nico shows why he was the third best player of 2021, and Crims came in with the AK. Well, that's the sound cue towards lower. They've broken some windows now. The jig is oh. up. Nico spotted. Smuya down. The AWP gets caught in no man's land, but the bomb will be planted. Yeah, Messi is alongside of him, so maybe they can get something out of this. Brolin holds the first. Spots out Jax. Hunter and Nico so quick on the triggers. There's that precision and power that we see from Nico yet again. And Smuya's not in a great position here at all. So Nico can come up behind, and he's got one. He strikes on a two, and that's the bomb down. 19 seconds of recovery mission now for Fnatic, trying to get that bomb back. I don't even know if they can, Jack. Oh, oh CP <laughs> reacts to the headshot. And now Crim's barreling outside, but Nico's watching for it. There's not enough time. Oh, They have to just come down to Monacy. 3 HP. Luckily, he's nowhere near the site. It's G2's round. G2 closed the half with a landslide score of 13-2. to To finish the map, Alex attempted a clutch, and this is how it went. Alex is down with him, but Jack's coming up heaven. Starts to oh, oh, no. Smuya no, no, no. And oh. Jack still reacts, and Alex suddenly, with two, has a shot for the 1v1. Hunter will still take him down. G2, they impress us on their first map of play. Absolutely not breaking a sweat versus Fnatic. So with G2 wiping the floor with Fnatic on Nuke, the battle moves on to the second map, Mirage. The Battle of Mirage start off with Fnatic making an unexpected comeback, with Crims owning the pistol round, Alex backing it up, and in the same play letting Fnatic put the U back in USP. It's going to be a full execute from G2, pistol smokes, everything going out in the pistol, Crims off for the first, Messi with the anti-flash swings now into the fight, it's a good headshot for him, Hunter just has so many angles to look at, and Crims now is on three in the pistol, and just a likes to be left in a one versus three. Starts to rattle away with a Glock, takes one, and now has a chance onto Brawlin, but he's been shot from all sides. And Alexa B tries to turn it into a 1v1, wrapping around, dancing with the sight, and figuring out, are there any chances oh. in this pistol? Spots out Smuya, and Fnatic have the pistol. Got three players to deal with when they attack this site. Brawlin's still in here. Do they expect that? They do, they drop, and they remove him. And now two players tucked under wood. This could get messy. Smuya needs to get his gun out. 
Luckily, he has got it in play, but he's not been able to do anything with it. Now, Alex, they're not going to expect a second player. That's going to allow him a lineup, nice and stop. Alex with the 3K. Oh, such a great hold from the IGL. Four kills, and they just don't expect the second player. There's still plenty of time as Alexa B now strikes for the first kill of the round. G2 is starting to converge on this A side. Again, just USPs, but it's Mezzi's AWP that starts to get exciting. It's one onto Nico. Flash holding him back, although Brolin, even with the USP, is getting something done. And now it becomes a little scary here for G2. There's only 22 seconds left, and there's still so many numbers here for Fnatic. Messi's found another on the AWP, and that's the bomb down. It's all a Monacy and all! Fnatic have done it with one op, and USP's around it. The following rounds featured an unfortunate bomb, Jax attempting to save the round, and Munzi getting an insane shot. Hunters played with him, so an AK and Mac 10 starting to charge down jungle and connector, but Smooya and Crims have handled it. And now Jax is in a very awkward position, jumps around, and Mezzi able to take him out. So it's so low for Fnatic on health, but luckily they recover the site. Yeah, squeaky there, right? Comes right down to the wire. All that util for the retake, they didn't even get an opportunity to use it because. Oh! Oh no. Oh, oh no. That is rough. Not enough time. Wait, what? They, they haven't recovered it, Jax. Wait, what? Alex looking to move forward, get a bit more proactive, and he's got a lineup. It's one. And that's all she wrote for Alex. Smoke goes into connector, but Crims, look at that. The back of Hunter is a free kill. Mezzi's flank is fast here as well. Look how quick he's in T-spawn. Bomb just gone down now, and Mezzi can respond to this almost immediately. Oh, Brawling, kill over the top of the smoke. Now drops back in behind the ticket. Jax is playing in the smoke, and Brawling nearly comes away with it. Not too far off at all. And Mezzi, yes, still coming through that ramp, but it's Brawlin that's going to go down, and that gives position to Jax and CT. Bomb is implanted for that, and Mezzi's flank will reap that kill. It's all on Nico. He's been so quiet. He's been lying dormant, but maybe this is where they unleash the beast. It's one. And now just looking for the last pick off the round. It's Crims coming up the stairway. Nico playing with him, but Crims over the top gets to the defuse. He's going to pull this one through as Fnatic take nine. More than enough of the standard play. But Monesty's actually working with the AWP over towards B, and oh, there's no push from Mezzi this time. Oh, oh never mind. Yes, there is. As quick as you like. Monesty sits, he waits, he shoots, and see you later, Mezzi. Another opening now for G2. The next rounds featured Nico and Smuya having a battle of wits, Monzi coming back with the scout, and Brolin and Jax attempting some risky plays. Smuya. Going for the shots, rattling down, trying to pull Hunter He's away. But Crims flanks around the side, and Hunter does get removed. In the meantime, Nico is repositioned. He's oh, read the he's B play. It. He's read the B play. Okay, well, the kit was on the back of Hunter, so if Nico gets there, Crims is still dealing with the rotation. Smooth is not going to expect him to be here at all, and Nico's going to hear the bomb going down. He's going to hear the bomb going down, but he can't do much about it because it's planted for the short no side. No way, he... Smooth is ready for this. No way. He has a 1v1. Oh! Okay, Smooth, a lovely shot, and Nico, the frustration in this game for him right now. He is just feeling it. And so Fnatic will take the side, but look at Smooth. Look at his position. Oh! oh so quick from Honesty. Is he jumping? He, I don't think so. I think he landed on the ledge, but he was able to take down Smooth nonetheless. That's an AK upgrade. Now Monesi looking for another one, but Messi to the headshot. They're still so low here in Fnatic. Alexi B and Nico don't have kits. They don't have utility. And now with Alexi B going down, it is just the D of Nico left. We will find a chance, but they double peek upon him. Oh. And 12 rounds for Fnatic. They just barely survive. Nearly gets away the lineup of two, but Crims is still keeping Fnatic even in this one, even though they have to drop back into their post plant positions. Alexa B and Hunter, they're still up. And G2 might find their first CT round. It all comes down to Brolin. Defuse being stuck around the corner. It's a wide fight for Brolin to take, and he's not going to get there. Surely he won't get there. It's one, and it's two. Oh, just about the defuse is stolen away in the dying embers of the round. Here they come to drop down into Jax. Hunter coming over here, had a very quiet game. Maybe he can get involved here. Jax does well. And this quick play for Fnatic has been dealt a pretty bad hand. Yeah, doors closed as well. Nico's already over towards T-spawn, so they can only go forward if they try and drop back. Oh, they should meet their logical demise. Alex is looking sharp here today. Mm, Crims as well. Nico's on the back side, and Alex will not be able to get much done there. Crims, the last player... Up in the 1v4, tries to transfer back down, but G2 takes 7, and that's the that's the low buy that they've been able to pull through. After those plays, with all odds against it, the game ended 16-7 in Fnatic's favor. Are they ready for Alexia B to be in the apartments? Hunter's here at the bench. Oh, ouch. He needed one, but Brolin forces him to eat lead, and now Alexia B gets bested by Alex, and suddenly it's Jackson Nico. 
A 2v4 recovery of the B site is needed here, and it just looks so unlikely. Fnatic with a great showing, a great recovery here on Mirage. And now a whisker away from sending us to Inferno. Jax left, 1v4. Crim's about to knife him, and that is how it ends. A statement in the pullback from Fnatic. They recover and take G2's map pick. This one will be decided on Inferno. And with that, we had to move on to Inferno as a decider. Are your channel points still safe? Well, mine definitely weren't. In the first half, we saw Alex open up the second round with a 3k, Crims tried to clutch it out, and Maisie comes so, so close to a legendary save. Flashes just trying to keep Alex back, but finally, he gets his chance. Alexi B has been taken down. Now Fnatic hold the advantage thanks to the hero AK. G2 finally start to use some pieces of utility, so but close. Fnatic are already on the site. They're already emerging onto the site itself, and Monacy, his turn to try and hold. He gets away with two. Nico backs him up, and oh, Samuya tries to get the bomb out, but Crim's into the clutch again, 1v1 this time. He spots out the library player of Nico, who just doesn't have the weapon for this kind of range. Oh! Crims on the headshot. That's Fnatic biting back. Start to limit some of the positions he can be in, and instead, of facing him, they are going down into short where Monacy, sneaky little kill with the USP, and now Hunter gets aggressive and suddenly kills for G2, and suddenly it's all Mezzi. 1v4 with the M4. He's found a chance. A second kill as well for Mezzi. Oh, Three dear. picked up. And you thought that was G2's chance. Mezzi is their nightmare. And now Nico, can he recover for his team? He's creeping up. Mezzi has the read, and Nico still will remove him. G2 with a miracle round that nearly got snatched by this man on your screen. Next, we saw Nico pull off a speedy play. G2 attempt to make a comeback, and Smuya, Crims, and Kovac pop off. He's already down. Alex, he reads it. He turns back with the bomb on his back, but Nico, two kills. He might just get three, and Nico certainly will. That's more like it from Nico. And they're charging their way down Speedway, but this has to be quick. There's still two players here for G2, and Alexi B now has Banana. So that safe access point to the B site's no longer there. And Fnatic just don't have time. Alexi B drops the bomb. Nine seconds, Nico with the shots. That's better for G2, but Fnatic run the clock down. Flash holding Monacy back. What a back and forth this is. Yeah, they're just trading position. Jax has found a headshot on Crim, so that's the first kill of the round. Honestly, repositions. Oh, the timing, but Hunter's barrel's ready. Quick reply from Smuya, and Mezzi follows up. I'm honestly. Let's see if the young man can hold this. All the pressure on his shoulders. His teammates rely upon it, and unfortunately, nothing found from Monacy. 33 seconds left. Fnatic in the sight. Bomb going down. And now we look to Alexi B and Nico to find their way back into this one with just a single flash. It's already done. Nico, he's faded the smoke. Smuya on the other side of it, stepping around, trying to find him. And Nico has locked in his position, and Smuya will check it. Takes the Nico player down, and now it's nine for Fnatic. Good response to the previous. Now they're trying to get over the top here. Hunter, ready for the heads to come on by. And they will check him on the second swing out, but Hunter's going to stay up. Not only that, but he gets away with a kill on Alex as well. Okay, three on four, still looks to favor. Oh, all right, Crims. I was going to say uh, looks to favor that of Fnatic, and it definitely does now. Another body hits the deck, three on three. Yeah, Crims just confidently swinging on top of the coffins and does exactly that. Two Hunter puts him in one. And now Samuya holds the CT swing, missing a couple of shots here. And luckily, Crims is there to clean up the mess. And now Samuya figure it out. Oh. Flicked at the smoke, actually hits it on the Alexi Beast rather under the legs, and uh, Crim's able to come back and close it with the AK. Monish is out of play, so Jax has to hold. It's only one for him. Alex is so quick to trade that out. And now Fnatic looking for 11. They've cleared out this site. They'll put the bomb down, and we've got to look to Hunter and Nico, the cousins, to pull this one off. Just holding up. Alex will peek above. As Hunter's head's now off his shoulders, and now Nico down to the 1v1. It's just Brolin left. Nico looking for him, limits his position, and the headshot's there. Kit right in front of him. Nico collects it, and with that, he collects a fifth round. In the following rounds, Hunter punished Nico, Alex snapped retaking B, and Fnatic showed G2 what a real eco is. Oh, and Mezzi, well, Mezzi made the final play. 4v4, they may as well give this one a crack. They have some good util for this. The molly, the molly. is good. Oh, he's just started planning as well. Jax 
Luckily, getting away with that with a bomb down. Hunter also picking up Mezzi. So the numbers once again are down for Fnatic, but Brolin makes a difference. He's going to cleave away Hunter and leave a 3v3. Brolin hits the silencer doing a Dupree. And now he's got a 2v3. Monacy, the headshot connects. And now Jax holding the CT walkout. Alex with the perfect timing. Jax looks away, and now it's all on Monacy. First headshot's gone, oh. but Alex doesn't even have to see his opponent. Headshot through the wall and to the defuse. This time he has the kit. This time he will pull through. It's 11 for Fnatic. Smooya holds it short. The walk around, Jax arm spotted. He sees it, but Smooya shoots a little bit early. And now it's Krim's turn. Front pit, he's good for one. Alexi B will go down alongside Jax. It's a jewel of death for Crims. And now Monacy and Hunter. Oh, it's all on the rifle. Hunter chipping away, hunting down Smuya. Nine seconds, finally gets the headshot, has to get back to the bomb. And there's just enough time, just enough time to punch in those digits. And now he has to turn his attentions to Mezzi. Where is he coming from? Hunter's gone to the AWP. Mezzi will have heard the scope and now holds. And Hunter with the clutch. Alex just scooped up another smoke off the dead body. Crims is rotating over on that info. It's all going to go down here in Banana, and the timing on this is everything. Alex threw the chicken pick. monacy has got the bomb, but he will be making it in time. And there you go! Oh! Lovely shot from Messi. Jack's able to recover, but it's Crims on the double with a CZ. And now it's just Monacy. 1v4. This is the perfect chance to try and get back into it. Monacy from so many angles just hunted down. Oh, Fnatic, that is a miracle round and a backbreaker for G2. They're going to frag out now. Fnatic, here they go. Smoke out from Brolin. Looking to line it up, giving himself a one white and all the kills from Messi. It's Jackson likes to be down to Messi with the massacre. It's all on Hunter. He gets to the site, locks the digits in, but Fnatic, surely it is theirs now. Hunter would have to pull off an unthinkable clutch just to get them to 12. He goes back into Banana and Fnatic, they have done it. They have taken victory over G2 in their opening game of the group stages here at IM Katowice. How disappointing is it to see G2 go flat? With that, the match ended with Fnatic reigning victorious with a final score of 16 to 11. The next game of the afternoon was between Super Team Vitality and Heroic. With the odds in Vitality's favour, the match started on Mirage, with Dupree holding B with his life, Starvin being sneaky beaky like, Heroic showing us what a real eco is, and Shush dominating. Well, the Heroic attack out. Luckily for Tessus, he drops Masuda. And now Kadian just refreshed, left alone, taken down. 2 0 start for Vitality. Masuda is about to find a very nasty piece of lead in the back of his skull. And Stown will spot Dupree as well. That's one, and it's two. As clean as you like from Stown. And now Vitality, it's the red button, it's the panic system, and it's the save call. Smoke going out in front of him. That gives a bit more cover to play with. He actually go deeper into the site and get involved. Miss shot on the first stand. In fact, Zywu will not go mental. In fact, he goes down very quickly. And Tessus finds the follow-up. So maybe more than a bomb plan here, Chad. They might just get the round. Yeah, they can really start to work this one through. First kill for refresh as well. That impact felt immediately here. And they're posturing up to deal with this CT push. The flash is good. Magic swings. Oh. He's got one, but he needed more. Oh, he's got a double out of that. And now Masuda, his chance, but goes down to Tessus. And it's all on to Dupree. Difficult round to get into now, especially with the bomb already down. And they have no idea where they are in the post plan. Information is required and required now. Oh, what a shot from Shush. It's all on Zywu. And he's missed another one. Switches out to the rifle instead and Shush will bring him down. The following rounds showed Refresh having a high impact round, Zywu displaying why he's one of the best players in CSGO, and Shush having even more great plays. Refresh looks to asphyxiate this vitality Whoa! side. It's a headshot so quick. Oh, that is Masuda's neck just snapped in half. And now the time it's taking for Vitality. They are leaving the site, realizing this is a done deal. Refresh. My oh, God, God, he is looking so sharp right now. <laughs> the rest are charging straight through middle here. It's a double vent boost though, Dinko. There's two players up. Zywu and Dupree are here. Kedian, oh, he's not, not gonna check it. All. Doesn't even think about it. Forgets it's even there and Zywu will punish them for their negligence. It's two kills oh. and he's got a third! Okay, Zywu! Do they read the Tessa's flank? Do they read it? Not looking that way right now, Masuda, but now they know. They found out the hard way. Magis looking back, good headshot into CT, and now it's all on Dupree. He's traded out position with a CT player. Shush has moved forward, but Dupree is creeping up behind him. They've lost him. They don't know where he is. This could really help out Dupree. 
They haven't even put pressure on him by tapping the bomb, so Dupree's got closer and closer, oh, and finally! Yeah. Juice looks back, Dupree's head will fall. Easy as you like with that one. As we go under one minute on this clock, it's a refry and a reflash, and oh, Shush has got a double. This guy, he's on another level right now. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. How do you get out of this? How do you get out of this? Shush with one. Now it's all on Magisk. They're doubling up in the apartments. Cadian's even holding the van as well. Magisk gets cleaned out. Shush with another. Another impact round from him in the guns. He is, and this could be the 1v1, and it's gonna go Shush's way. Now just Zaiwu. When I say just, it is Zaiwu who's still up in this clutch. And he'll play from triple. Shush begins to walk his way up through connector. Now on top of the stairs, just one flash to play with here and so many angles to check. Yeah, it's just like that, the sound cue mid. Zaiwu plays it to perfection. Next, Magis came in clutch and Heroic managed to force around. So that is going to be Shush to claim one, but now they're alert to the flank, but that's the move. Heroic starting to come back into this one. They've got the advantage back, Apex and Masuda with two, and now Stown and Tessis, they have to battle back in the lineup. It comes in for Apex and Magisk. Well, here they come again, Vitality run it back to back. If it's not broken, don't fix it. This time, Gideon looks to break it. Oh, <laughs> Saiwu snaps his skull right in half. It is Shush with one back. Still plenty more space to be gathered here for Vitality and still numbers here for Heroic. This could turn into a bloodbath real quick. They're all fighting. They're all gonna swing. All gonna meet each other head on and refresh and test this. They've done the heavy lifting. And now it's Zaiwu. A 1v4 as he goes back into middle with one minute left. They spot him out and Shush will bring him down. That's a big round to win. The map ended with an unexpected win from Heroic. Now, the battle moves on to Inferno, where Heroic will try to secure the match. The Battle of Inferno plays into action with Starvin whipping out the pistol and getting some great plays, a legendary clutch, and a new definition of a pit hold. Trying to challenge them down in second middle, but it's probably going to be Stown that comes out here. Of course, for a while, he's going to find himself a headshot, looking for a follow-up, and Stown gets two. It's just Apex and Dupree, just like that, Vitality. Slapped to the ground, and Heroic have gained all the ground here. There's no oh. back control at all. It's down. What a ridiculous headshot. Well, it's down. Let's see if he's got that ability. He's found one. Masuda. The first victim. They're all coming banana for the retake here. Yeah, this is quick. This is a flying kipper. Oh! Okay. Okay, that's out of this world. Nose go through the smoke, and he's gone back for more. It's just Zywoo's down. Oh, that is ridiculous. <laughs> out of this world from the young man. <laughs> there was no way. They had everything they needed. The execute should have been picture perfect. They're going to smoke out Library and Arch, but it is down to Tessus in the pit because Shush is now gone. It's all on Tessus. He's found one. That's the bomb in a second from Tessus. He's got a third. A one-man army inside of the pit, and suddenly it's all on one man. It is Dupree. Now one versus two clutch with nine no seconds. Time. There's no time. No time to win it. He would have to play for elimination, and Stown, he comes in to sweep it up. Oh, my God, Tessus. Look, okay, Gideon. At the ruddy. Flash will force him back with 20 seconds left. Throws the HG on in, and oh, Vitality, you're being slowed. And this boost, this boost might just come at the perfect time if Stown can get over the top. They have to plant the bomb, and that's it, loose. Stown with one, bomb down in the open. Someone needs to get on it. Heroic sending players into the site. There's no time. There's just, There's no, just time. no time to get it done, and that's it. Vitality, what a nightmare. This is a disaster for Vitality. This start is just awful. And now they're going to deal with, oh, Apex, that is beautiful. Now Shush up on the balcony, Apex gets another one! And just like that, Heroic truly save. Well, Smoke goes out towards CT, we'll see if these pistols can... ...start frigging out against some of the lower tier weapons, uh, or low health, should I say, but nonetheless, Ooh. it doesn't matter because Apex and Dupree have closed it. Next, Misuta, Tezzes, Apex and Dupree completely pop off. Problems right now, and he will come back. He sees that utility. Get your gun out. Oh, he throws down the smoke. Luckily, they dive on past and refresh is good for one, but Shush unable to get anything. And Misuda with the 3k. Tap, tap, tap. All down. And Stown. Well, he's nowhere near the side again. And now Apex starting to sweat a little bit, having to deal with all the numbers coming his way. Just smoked him off. He's trying to put the nade down as well. He's got another, another one. one. Apex, where's he got that? Rabbit out of the hat, and now he's looking for another magic trick, but unfortunately for him, Tess says, will take him down, and so, the time bot has allowed Vitality to get their numbers back over here. Yes, okay, they have lost the side, but they have got four still up. Tess says, look at... 
to try and shut down multiple players here. He's found another, and it's just Magisk, and it's closed out. Heroic with a 4K on Tessas. Have the pistol on the first of the second half. This is a nightmare. Tessas now having to play for elimination and vitality. They're walking into the blender. Tessas with two. That bomb finally picked up, but it's back in the ground again. It's all refresh. Can he recover this? AK-47 now in hand instead. Dancing between two positions. Apex running down. Refresh goes, and it is Vitality oh. with pistols. Who make it happen? Oh, my Lord. That's already moved forward, Dupree. This is so he's fast. Going. He's not ready for this. Oh, he's looking back, and he's got one in a second. Dupree's recovered, and he's got three. He's even dinked up the fourth as well, and he'll get it. He'll confirm, and now he might just get all five. One player left, and Dupree's got it. All five. This guy, oh, four. He stalks it's all right, Dinko. It's all right. It's all right. Look, it looked like five. <laughs> it you, did. You, we're going to blame Magisk for that one. I'm as excited as you because how quick that came, it didn't look like Dupree should have been ready. The following rounds contain Shush coming in clutch, Zawi pulling off a clean play, and a brilliant way to enter overtime. He's going to look out towards... Short as refresh is low, continue to run forward, and Magic nearly transfers. We've seen some ridiculous things out of him so far when it comes to transfers, but Shush into the 1v2. He's been impactful in the series at least, but now we need to see it on Inferno. He's taken Saiwu down low, and suddenly a chance here for Shush. One more bullet, Saiwu's down, but he doesn't know. Saiwu's crept past his crosshair, he's hit his blind spot. And Shush now looking into the site. Defuse, he's sticking it. Saiwu so sticking it, and he goes around. Shu silences them with a headshot. It's 13 for Heroic, and they have tied it up. Well, they've purchased on in. Slow reply. Saiwu, so this time it works. Oof. This time, the run boost out of the smoke pays off for the first kill. Does he go back again? Double dip. Of course, Saiwu so comes away with two. When you need someone to step up, you can always expect Zywoo to have one of these rounds. Zywoo, another one. And it's just down to Shush. And this is a clutch he cannot win. 15-14 and Vitality. Apex, oh, Apex is standing. Is oh, he's going to be damaged by it. He's down to 47, so that's going to soften him up and make him more susceptible to get taken down by pistols. And that's exactly what has happened to the B defense. It's cracked open entirely, and just like this. No more Heroic saving. Into it, but Dupree swings into the open. He's got two. Finally gets taken down by Shush. They can do this. They can take it to overtime. And they are starting to wrap. They're starting to go behind, trading out position. They're not going to expect this. Two players coming from this side. Finally, the fight comes in. And now it's just Shush versus Magisk. Sticking the defuse, sticking the defuse around the corner. And this time, Magisk gets it done. Oh, the time again, Chad. It's cost them. The next rounds had Kadian going crazy, Starving putting the same clutch, and even more great plays from Zawu, Teasers, and Kadian. Heroic need two more to force us to another OT. And Dupree has been the bane of their existence and will continue to be so. Kadian at least trades that out. Oh, Kadian, another kill for him. Starting to find some impact. Zai was about to walk in a stown. His barrel around the corner. Refresh. Oh, Apex. That is quick. How does he get away with that? And now Kadian under pressure. He's dealt with it. That's Magis down. And now Apex left in the 1v3. He has been damaged. His 14 health. And Kadian's out to the rifle. And Kadian with four kills. He's got the bomb down in the sight. Vitality looking to close it, looking to send us, but the molly burns him away. And now it's just Zaiwu left in the 1v2. Molly goes out, but they push past it, and Zaiwu, he's so good in the clutches. He's a beast when they need him, and he's got it into the 1v1, but oh. can't close it. It's down the talisman of Heroic, as Kadian will scream him down. The bomb isn't planted for him. And so they're going to be checking positions that he's not even in, but finally he starts to drop back into the site. We'll see if Zywoo can get himself these opportunities. They're coming in from short, flash blind Zywoo, but he is so primed and ready. Tap on the bomb, gives away his position, runs out of ammo, and now Zywoo trying to run away, but Katie and Humpson down, it's their time. They're going to hold it, the defuse, they're sticking it, and there's not oh enough Oh my time. god! Zywoo has done it! What a clutch! No, no, ball. no, 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 Dinko! Another one, another one that has gone down to the wire! Flash goes over, Tessis can swing with it. It's so good! Tessis gets three! 
And now Apex hits the deck as well. Magisk, 1v5 total for him. And it's 21. Heroic, one more round. And they're going to the spot deck. Magisk still has to clear so much. Smoke onto it, Kidding. Doesn't have the best weapon for the job here. Has to go to the pistol. Magisk sticking to defuse. He has to. It's his only option. Kidding is missing. Oh no! Kadian's done it! They pick it up! 22 rounds found first in Heroic! After a long neck-to-neck -neck overtime battle, Heroic came out on top, claiming the victory 22-18. The final matchup of the day was between Virtus Pro and Ninjas in Pajamas. With the game starting on overpass, we saw multiple clutches, Yekandar fragging out, and some amazing plays by Jame. On planted, he has armor but no kit to work with, and there isn't any on the deck. He's gotta go the fast way the hard way and fight forward with a USP. Shots raining out. He's got to be careful with his ammunition. Eight shots to go. He's going to work it onto Esetag first and tries to isolate him. He continues to shoulder check to bait those shots, but he's had enough of that and Buster goes for Hampus instead. A little bit slow to react with Esetag, but he will drop down and get the shots with the Glock. Yeah. Then makes things right again. And all right, being one man up right now is NIP with 38 seconds. Flit's going to go hunting though. Not quick enough to, to catch them out with a flank at long, but does catch a lonely Fousey. Oh, this play's sick. Kicker could do everything. Use the sound. Oh, he's got damage. He cleans it up. Swings wide. plops. He's got him. Long range of the AK against Galil. Thankfully, Huge Galil. clutch. That, that would have been almost a kill if that was AK, because he actually double body shot him. He goes down to 40 as it gets tagged up through the edge of the wall, I think. Nonetheless, Plopsky gets the bomb planted. Knows he's going to be challenging. And very quickly to do so, a one-on-one -on -one from this round that started off with a 5-7 kill. And I don't think he's going to find the right way because at 40 HP, Flint's able to capitalize. I think Plopsky just second-guessed his play. Kinder's timing here could be amazing, and he will get res. Plopsky's not there to trade. Jane was busy looking toward the bathrooms where Fousey will win out the first exchange between the ops. Hampus switching over to the AK, meanwhile, trying to find that revenge onto Yakinder, who's now going to triple up. Remember, four aces in an event is the record. He's not going to get one this time, but three kills. He's getting closer, maybe. Maybe he gets one this game. He's going to try. Oh, he's actually going to hold back. He wants the rotations instead. I thought he was going to try and work up on that because he would have known that one was at least on the truck. Fousey's on the other side. He'll walk out. Yakinder has the angle, and it's going to be a boost behind the wall. This should be a kill. James, turn around now. Absolutely sees him. Jumps. <laughs> I'm not <Yeah>. sure. <laughs> not sure that was the best move. Could have been a little more patient with it. Does hit the second one. Okay, fine. <laughs> Jumping no scope. <laughs> Shame on me. Uh, they know they shot like that. That's the thing. He's the only one there right now, and it actually is beneficial because now Flit and Jame are on rotation. So no risk, but therefore nothing to lose. I don't think he realized Plopsky was already pushed up, though. Gets caught out immediately. Smokes down. That will isolate Flit's position. Fousey's trying to get around it. Plopsky gets it behind, though. There's two behind. Now Flo oh, I thought Flit might have been able to turn on that because the wall of smoke's still there. They ran past him, but he gets caught out by Rez instead. Bomb goes down. It's Kickered on the flank. And Jame inside the smoke, top of the stairs. First one goes his way. And Kickered. Completely unaware of his position, finds the assist on the second. Jame beats him to the punch, and thankfully, because the aim was not there, but it's all down to Plopsky. Jame goes to the pistol, and another kill for him, another round for Virtus Pro. Great recovery from Jame and Kickard because Virtus Pro really let that round go. Yakindar gets completely caught off guard. In oh, the next rounds, we saw Plopsky show off his skills, Kickard make a stylish entrance, and Yakindar oh, end the match. Boys. Uh oh, find a way to lose. Buster's got another. Two on two, and that's the bomb dropped at the floor beneath Plopsky. One on two, excuse me. That might be the saving grace except for the fact that Kickert's also on the flank. Oh, look how nervous his aim is. He's got the one-on-one -on -one now with Buster Baum, thankfully, in his hands and possession with only 20 seconds left to go. This is not a round that is about the objective. It is one versus one, and it will come to kills. As Plopsky backs off the bomb, Buster has to work his way down the stairs, tries to surprise, but Plopsky gets the kill instead. Oh, they're in a monster heavy lean on the defense. Esetag close up along the wall. Plopsky deep. Oh, that's a big fight. He knows the second one's there as well. Molotov in hand. That's a mistake. Nice flashbang as well. And all oh, the yeah, kills. Wow, they Good. just... Bro broke down the door. Look at James as well. He instantly knew that the rotation was going to be coming from behind, threw the bomb into the site, and just it locks on. Hampus is going to... Something stellar to say here. Nice shot. Yeah, can nerf. Fousey gave himself up by firing with the scout, but the second one comes back out and finishes off when his teammate started, and Buster has been busted. He will drop, but Yakendar is not okay with that. He'll try and track down the man who murdered his mate. And he spots him, but he's still getting further away. Scout seems to want more good shots. See, that's the one I'm talking about, though. Second bullet. 
Yeah. Kind of detracted from the kill. All right, so. it still looks good. Well, Yekinar's like in Terminator mode right now. He wasn't slowing down for anything. He was hunting down all those kills. He knows he has an advantage in terms of weaponry, and oh, he's got another one. So, they're taking the bomb toward the site that Yekandar is on. Maybe there's a chance he can find it. Certainly if this Deagle finds kills first, but Flit won't allow it, Yekandar does get the fourth. Oh, that would have been it. But it's not the ace, Jason. <laughs> it would have been it. It doesn't matter. VP's more focused. Overpass ended as a win for Virtus Pro, with the end score being 16 to 9 in Virtus Pro's favor. With Virtus Pro taking the first map, the map was moved over to Vertigo, where Virtus would try to secure the win. Vertigo opened up with Flick getting an insane pistol play, James Shong's 1v1 skills, and Rez popping off. Leave it to Sato to not even make it to the major final and like mess everything up for everybody, right? <laughs> like, just get blamed for everything. Flick's come through the smoke and realized his teammates behind had a bit of a problem, and it's come down to a three on two. So despite that you say the round was gone, Jason, it isn't yet because Plopsky has a kill as well. Flit has made Hampus go flop, but Plopsky might put the rounds, well, never mind. He's actually gonna get caught out by Flit wrapping around. I thought he might bring it to a one-on-one, -on -one, but Jame was running, and it's four kills for Flit. Up before the matches, we've just kind of seen it coming from, uh, we've just been hearing the whispers amongst each other. It's just like, oh, oh, wait, hold the phone. Two on two. This all of a sudden got interesting. Maybe a little bit overconfident. Oh, this turn. All right, James, take it away, baby. He's got one already. Bomb still ticking. This should not have come this far. James back far off this. It's wide planted. He knows he has it in his favor as Tag staring him down. James got the tap, knows he's not on the bomb, doesn't need to overcommit to this situation. And it will be the round for Virtus Pro, but you're absolutely right. That got really, really out of hand. Yeah. See him start shifting a bit more. Reset lane. Look at the smoke timing. 30 seconds. I think there's a Molotov on Fuzi as well with the AWP. This is actually going to be tough right, for VP to get in here. You, you leave yourself so little Fuzi. The timing on the smoke. Yekinder goes down. Flit, though, gets to the bomb site. So 16 seconds they are there with only that one smoke deployed on the ooh, what scaffolding happened? side. Rez gets to the pistol. And down goes Kicker. This is five men remaining. And even though bomb's not even planted, they have to get off of it. They've got to run away. Even though bomb gets to the site, they couldn't hold it because they couldn't get any entries. Well, they knew Rez was over over yellow, and, and, or, excuse me, in lane, and just no one dealt with him. The, plant, the bomb just, they stuck the plant, just hoping and praying Rez wouldn't and of course that's not going to happen and then kicker just playing at the corner of the smoke just didn't have any aggression to him as well to go through onto res so incendiary a little bit late to take down the planter hampus Ooh, <laughs> he's trying to get in and join buster took damage from the flames went forward the nade he's on 51 though as he still survives despite the utility being poured toward him and he's got a chance to swing around if he hears them go he's definitely going to hear hampus but does he find out where res is holding from because res at the one-on-one -on -one will get the kill and there is plenty of time Close, close. Yeah, they've gone past so many pops out. Great timing from Yekandar. He's got so many plays on this ramp. Ooh, Jame. A little bit of a goosh through the sandbags and Rez finds his teammate. Oh, wow. oh great nade. Called in. Jame goes down two on three and there's the rotation in. It's all on Flint and he can't back away. The Molotov forces him in and forces him in to commit. Buster uh, left alone. Thought Rez was going to give Stag a haircut there as well as he fired in, but it uh, doesn't matter because he gets the kill and that will allow the bomb to be planted and Buster has to back hold. And Buster back at lobby, they essentially have similar angles, but they can try and set a crossfire. Buster can swing if they walk from the crane and Jane will watch toward the lane. He's missed his first chance at the shot. Rez will sneak by. That gives the AK the close angle and the advantage for shot success. Puts him low. He's going to reposition. That means Jame can't get the lineup the second time. And he knows Rez will stay behind the boxes. And he's got to keep his attention on it. Goes to the CZ, perhaps from a call on his teammate. That'll get it close. Sees the second. Looks for oh. Fousey as well. And Jame's going to pull it back. And they need this clutch from him to make it 12 to 9. Style points for Jame. That is a sick clutch. You could see him just take a deep breath, make the cross, run the gauntlet. That's more important. Uh -oh. hey, that smoke did not make it. Give it to the boy. The hit's about to come. Don't be shuffling with your smokes. That's an oh, issue. Oh, no. That's an issue, and you deserve everything. Oh, karma indeed. Rez is going to get Jame. They know that Yekender's likely on the flank, and Rez turns around to get that as well. Maybe Valve shouldn't have put dropping smokes in the game because that wouldn't have happened, but it does. And indeed, it is Virtus Pro that will drop the round as a result. That's when you play <laughs> hot. That's what happens when you play hot potato with grenades performance from one of your big time players james is in position kicker oh boy what a challenge this is good luck you're not getting away traded immediately james got the op kill plopsky does burn however three on three and there is that fast flank we caught a glimpse of it's buster coming around the corner oh he's waiting he wants more than one earned his teammate alive though fuzi 
And Hampus and he now remain in an awkward situation. Buster's taking Rez down immediately. Hampus is going to try and make amends with that. He'll find Buster with a good headshot bomb. Still continues to tick on top of the site. And they know that they're both lined up. That's a trade. Flit in and out just as quickly as he found the kill. Fuzzy finds him in return. And it's E versus Jane. But it's an AK-47. Oh, Jason, is it your moment? No. That's why you don't use dualies. And Jane will take another round for Virtus Pro. I, that might have been a really overeager from Fuzzy to go for that with the duelies. You had the bomb down. Play the bomb. The That's next round saw a fantastic 4v3 retake and a great force round by NIP. don't have to deal with those smokes or any of the weapons inside of it. Buster has to clear just to get there. I think the only thing you can do if you're Virtus Pro at the moment is maybe try... Oh, no, you got the kill. Hampus, why do you look away? That's wild. Okay, now the retake and beyond. I was going to say the only opportunity you might have is Kicker grabbing a rifle and just saving for the next round, but you go for this in a 3v3 at this situation. So, Jame waiting to see which side of the air condition unit they'll peek from. S-Tag is pushed up against it. Buster's going to be close. James got to be ready to trade on this. And that means maybe getting off the perch early. Headshot shows! He nearly got a lineup as S-Tag gets the kill in return. But James, he's waiting. Kicker is late to the party, but he's absolutely arrived fashionably late as Fousey goes down and James will add to the pain as it's going to be now a round for Virtus Pro. Oh, that's so sick. What an incredible win from Virtus Pro. They had so much going on. They were at so... Back in time. Foster smokes off the entry, Ooh. but the Molotov won't let it bounce. That leaves a gap. They'll go through, through with two. S Tag finds the kill. Rez is going to double that flit, only getting one back on him now. Bomb is planted, and quickly, Kickers, Yekinder, they're all there, but they're all from the same approach. And a smoke on the left side means it's even easier to funnel them with two AKs up. Nip might have responded sufficiently. They'll spot the shoulder. Fuzzy will fall back again. Nickender's even left the site to try and flash his teammates in, but that won't work. Somehow, Flit found the kill before Plopsky got the kill and return onto him, and it's all on Yekinder. We talked about how hot he's been lately, but he's tagged up. He's only on to 73, though. This is still sufficient. S-Tag, unsure of where he's gone. Flames making noise. He can't get the angle, though, and he's going to have to back off of it. S-Tag trying to chase him down for the kill. We'll get that as well, and it's map point. NIP managed to come out of the second map victorious, moving the mighty battle into Ancient. Vacated previously, and you can see why it's vulnerable. You can already see the spam coming through from the wooden wall. It's not going to hit him yet. S-Tag spots them directly. At the door of the cave, they jump out, Blobsky ready. First kill, and that means they get scurried and scoured between the two, but Yekinder gets them both as Hampus walks straight in to his own demise. Kicker's got Plopsky, Bomb goes down just barely in time, and we've now got a two-on-two -two that suddenly has turned in the favor of VP when it looked like nothing was possible. <laughs> Yekinder's got the round. I thought that crossfire was successful. That has a tag. It's done enough. But the lineup in Hampus, my goodness, just runs to give it away. That's unbelievable that he's able to get that. What a gift given over. Unlucky. For the next few rounds included Yekindar making extremely good use of his bullets, a 2v2 clutch scenario, and Hampus showing his proficiency for with the pistol. Passive hoping and saving, and he's got two entries with the AK-47. Oh, no. Fousey's got a double. They hand it over with the spray and the double peek again. Virtus Pro desperately trying to make this work. Kender only good for one before Hampus gets the kill onto him and an aid that will go toward Flitz. It puts him on 43. Bomb still taking smokes on it. I imagine they hold this. Hampus is going to be the one to try and do so. Flick can't find the angle, can't do anything with the MP9. This round's done already. Even if they find kills now, it's all for consolation. We've got a tie game. Oh, oh no, he's caught. He could have never known. Flashbang as well is going to give Buster the entrance into the bomb site. How does NIP hold this one off? Good kill from Yekindar. Finally pounces through the smoke as Fuzzy. We've got a three on three with the bomb down. Bomb down indeed. Yekindar manages to at least get S tag. That was the man who found the kill prior. It leaves it to a two on two. James still 100 HP on that AWP looking toward an unobstructed and unsmoked lane. But Yekindar gets that kill instead because he was sneaking along the wall. They'll double up and shuffle their position so as to trade. As Rez wants to work his way from the smoke, he takes Yekender. He knows the game is over in the same position. Nearly got the shot, the dink as well, but it is an 11th round for Virtus Pro. A dominant through Donut late, but his teammates need to hold on a little bit longer, and that's perfect from Hampus. You see the jam drop in the middle of this donut, Jason? Oh! 
Ooh. Not quite. Yikender somehow turns around to make that work, and the duelies go to work. He might it, get it. He might get this clutch, Jason. You might redeem yourself with the duelies, <laughs> but they are not good enough again this time. Hampus with the kill, and NIP do get the pistol. The next few rounds featured Yekender continuing his wrath, Quicker snapping, and Hampus bringing us some hairy plays. Safe, but the dual smokes on lane, and in fact, a third one added to it. They will have no vision at all. Yekender and Flit will rotate around. You presume it's for the boost, but they're a little late for that even, as S-Tag already goes for the bomb plant, and no kills come out until just now. Buster through a wall will find S tag that's back actually through the wood. He was a little bit late to deny the plant. And I think he got that call from Flint and Nikinder who couldn't get to the boost in time. But it was late, as I say, so they're playing the post plant as Buster will take out Fuzi. Hampus tries to repeat that same spot, Yekinder, into Rez. Oh, Chance for this. This is massive because four players are on it. They can try and hold it. Buster's the low HP, but it doesn't matter because Yekinder comes out instead of the pillar will save him. Plops Deep smoke, Kickert's ahead of it. Very far ahead of I'm it. down. And he's ahead of the shots. You're right, Bomb is down. Flit's gonna push forward. Oh man, that flash. He almost got two inside of a blinding light. Instead though, he now has to battle back to try Rez and claim that bomb. He can't. He's shut down by Kickert who shuffled over below him at the wall. And I think this round's done. Fuzzy's behind enemy lines, but it doesn't really matter at this point. 16 seconds, Virtus Pro, and even by way of a kill, we'll have Buster take him down to find 13. And this is exactly what we talked about. NIP, they've got better money than I would have expected. Plopsky's at 9K. Not only have the man advantage, but they get closer. The problem is they have no more smokes. Yeah. Now they do. Hampus just picked one up. This position from Buster can cut the cut the map. They have to plant inside the smoke. Yekandar is going to spam it. It goes down. Now someone's got to get aggressive in towards Temple, in towards Buster's crosshair that he's holding. Kickert's up next. He's found the upper. Bomb being planted. Buster goes down, and a two-on-two two we have. At least they get that bomb planted. A single smoke to do it on it's such a vast territory in sight. It'll give them a chance in it. Two on two, as you say, they know where both are. This is a, just a straight up duel at this point. There's no surprises, but it's a matter of who peeks first and who gets baited out. It's Yekinder that's caught, and Kickert's in no man's land as well as Hamas tries to swing around. He'll get the second, and NIP survived to get their eighth round. Oh, that's Phil. Gotta be careful, though. AK in hand. Sees the utility coming. Flashbang is going to give away his position. They're going to be close. They're going to be close before he realizes it. Holding on a temple. Spray is a bit wild, but he oh still transfers it over and delays the bomb plan as well. But Hampus at least gets one back, and he's going to try and smoke off toward the temple position, but that's not where the problem ensues, because Yekender's walked out from CT, and he'll find Fuzi and the bomb, and Hampus, well, he's the last remaining professor on campus, but does he have a lecture worth listening to? <laughs> not quite. Yekender's got the kill in return, and it is going to be Virtus Pro at 16. With that, Virtus Pro ended the map as victors, with the final score being 16-8. to eight.